Hello everyone and welcome to Azam Sharp Weekly. And right now I just want to discuss what is announced at WWDC. And one of the really amazing features that Apple announced is Swift UI, which means that you can write Swift code in a very declarative way to create your user interface, which is great. But the real amazing part is that you can actually write the code, save it, and it will simply update it or hot reload as we call it in the React Native world and also the Flutter world from Google, it will hot reload it so that you don't have to build your application. So this is a really, really massive change and really good change. In order for this to work, you have to download, first of all, obviously, Xcode 11 beta, all right? So you have to download Xcode 11 beta. That's fine, you can install it side by side with Xcode 10 and it will work fine. The problem comes that you also have to, to get the live feature working you have to also install the Mac OS Catalina 10.5 beta. Now, I don't really install uh, operating system that are in beta edition, and I'm sure that you don't really do that. If you have a separate machine, go ahead and do that, perfectly fine. But on my work machine, on my own personal one machine that I have, I don't really want to install this software, or I mean, this Mac OS. So how can I get around with that? By the way, if you have installed Xcode 11, you can still work with Swift UI. You just have to launch it in a simulator, which kind of beats the purpose, but you can still uh, run it. Now on Twitter, Ole over here, really amazing person, and he said that you can actually do that in the playgrounds. So if you are using the new version of Xcode, which is Xcode 11, point, uh, 11 beta, then you can actually use these features in Xcode. So I want to show you how you can do that. So thank you, Ole, for an amazing post. And uh, we're going to use that to make sure that we get it right. Okay, so let's go ahead and launch Xcode beta. This is, by the way, Xcode 11, as you can see. I'm going to go ahead, create a new playground, another project, playground. And I'm going to select iOS playground. Blank is fine. Let's go ahead and click Next on the desktop. You can name it anything you want, and there we go. So it will create a playground for you. Just like a normal playground, it will create a playground for you. There we go. Okay. So now what we need to do is we need to import a couple of different things. I'm going to go ahead and import playground support. And I'm also going to import, which we might not use, but import the Swift UI. All right. Next, I need to create some sort of a content view, basically the view that will create the content for me or the content that I want to create for my, uh, which will be displayed using the declarative syntax. So let's go ahead and do that. Structure, content view, view. And part, so this is the, basically the new syntax that you're looking at. So it's going to be a view and inside the view, we will have some sort of a text. Let's say, hello world. Okay, and that's it. So this is the declarative syntax that we just use, which is the Swift UI syntax. The question is, how can I use this to display something on the screen or display something uh, in my playground right over here on the right hand side? Well, the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to create content view equals to content view. Great. And then I can say playground page dot current dot live view equals to UI hosting controller and then passing in the root view to the content view. And now if you go ahead and run this, you can see that using that in the playground creates a declarative UI. So this UI is actually created using the declarative code that we just type in. And obviously you can actually go ahead and change that. So if you go ahead and say over here dot font and pass in the font, let's say title, dot color, and let's say the pass in green. And if I save it, nothing really happens when I save it, but if I go ahead and run it, and here we go. It, I mean, it takes a little bit of time, but you can see that it kind of works. Now, this is obviously not the intended use or the intended purpose of the Swift UI. Um, if, if I had upgraded to the new version of the Mac Catalina, then I wouldn't even be using the playground. I would simply type this in my project and it will update whenever I save. But this is a great example of what you can accomplish with this, all right? 
If you enjoyed this video and you find it helpful, if you want to check out my other courses on Udemy, you can simply go and click on the link in the description. I do actually have a course on a Swift 5 programming language, which is really good because we are actually, that's the current version, Swift 5.1 uh, Swift version, so you can check it out. But I have some other courses also, ARKit and all the other courses you can imagine, all right? So check it out, the link is in the description, and thank you so much for supporting me and my courses. Thank you so much.